Um, shalom. All right, first off, I want to give all honor and glory to my heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raha Kadash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who bear and rule well. Peace and salutations to all the Akim, all right, on the four winds of the earth, who the Lord will have mercy on. All right, now, uh, just on my spirit to bring out, you know, the tender mercies of David. And measuring the times we're in right now, I mean, every week the Lord is pushing that line where there's more judgment is being handed out, all right? And those who have eyes to see understand what the Lord is doing in these times, all right? But ultimately, the Lord had promised salvation unto Israel, right? So we got to look at these things and say, all right, I just have to finish my course, play my part, because this is the Lord's movie. You know, the wonderful works of Yahweh Bashim Hal Shai. I want to read the book of Psalms 111. The Lord is watching your mind and your heart right now. The Lord is looking for the servant, all right, that's going to persevere. It's about perseverance in these times, right? Right? Serving the Lord with a whole, clean heart, right? And that's mind and spirit. Matter of fact, let's get Psalms 111. It says, I will praise the Lord with my whole heart in the assembly of the upright and in the congregation. The works of the Lord are great, studied by all who have pleasure in him. His work is honorable and glorious. It says studied by all who have pleasure in him. We, we have pleasure in Yahweh Bashim Havashah because he actually died and was risen again. He's not going to meet you as a man. Right. The next time we see him, no, he's going to come in that glorified body. Right. Honorable and glorious, as it says, his work is honorable and glorious and his righteousness endures forever. His righteousness endures forever. We're talking forever and ever a government set up by the Lord. Right. Because this whole earth needs to be restored back in order. We're just waiting for our margin orders. We're waiting to see who the Lord's going to exalt as his judges, right? So everything's gonna be decently in order. He has made his wonderful works to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion. He's been gracious and compassion to us, right? As much as we fall off and sin and do wicked things, you know, and eat the foul foods that we don't even know and, you know, just uh, being carnal sometimes, right? But if you were written in the Lamb's Book of Life from the foundation of the earth, well, that means that this was set up for you. It reads, he has given food to those who fear him. He will ever be mindful of his covenant. He has declared to his people the power of his works and giving them the heritage of the nations. Right. Right. So ultimately, the Lord is going to give you a heritage over these nations. What's a king without a servant? Right? So the Lord's going to be mindful of the covenant that he's going to give us. Right? The covenant of the law, statute, and commandments written in our hearts. Right? The covenant where you don't have to teach your brother anymore. Because from the least to the greatest, everyone's going to know Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai. And that's the day we can't wait for. That's the day that we're, we're hasting for. You know what I mean? The works of his hand are verity and justice, and all his precepts are sure. They stand fast forever and ever, and are done in truth and uprighteous. He has sent redemption to his people. He has commanded his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. Right, he has sent redemption to his people. We read in the book of Luke 168 that he has come to redeem his people. Right? The poor, the brokenhearted. To give an understanding of all things and commandments, right? We're going to have an understanding of all things, right? Because we're going to have those new bodies just as well. We're going to be like Yahweh Shai, right? So we're going to have the mind too, right? We're going to understand the whole story, the things that aren't written in the Bible, the things that man did not witness, only the spirit, right? Right? The law, statutes, and commandments are going to be written in your heart. You won't be able to go off. 
Psalms 111 and 10, his praise endures forever. Right? His praise endures forever. Blessed is the man who fears the Lord, who delights greatly in his commandment. You have to delight greatly in the commandments that the Lord have given you. He didn't give it to anyone else. This is a special gift that Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh has bestowed on us. His descendants will be mighty on earth. The generation of the upright will be blessed. Those descendants will be us. As it is in heaven, as it is going to be on earth. Right? John the Revelator saw heaven come down to the earth. Right? And the Lord is going to set up a new kingdom, a new covenant, uh, a, a new power structure, man. You know? So justice will be served all across the world now. Right? You're going to be able to breathe good air, drink real water. Right? This is going to be under a new government, a righteous government. It says the generation of the upright will be blessed. Wealth and riches will be in his house and his righteousness endures forever. Surely he will never be shaken. This is a gift from the creation, man. Man's purpose is to serve Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Having fear is wisdom. You have to fear the Lord and accept this gift of wisdom, knowledge and understanding. Take it with you, right? Salvation is on the line. Mercy endures forever. And the Lord is going to have mercy, all right, on his elect. I hope this lesson has been edifying to the body and elect of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It's about perseverance and enduring on this side, right? So on the next side, you can endure forever in righteousness as a king, right? Standing righteous, standing bold, standing proud as a king, and sitting humble as a judge with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Sister brothers out of mouth. I hope this lesson has been edifying. Shalom.